So we're going to prep our clay to begin our pinch pot. And the first thing that you guys need to do is wedge your clay. Well, what is wedging? Well, first of all, it's spelled W-E-D-G-I-N-G. And wedging prepares the clay for basically optimal use. There's a few ways to wedge your clay. Today, we're going to just talk about hand wedging. Um, and as we go through the semester, we'll talk about all the different types of wedging. But today, it's just hand wedding, wedging. Um, and the a general idea includes throwing the clay down, rolling it into kind of like this tight spiral, squishing it in between your hands. It's sort of like this kneading method. Wedging makes the clay more pliable and ensures a uniform consistency. It removes the air pockets as well as small hard spots in the clay before you're, before you're using it. Um, it just makes it more flexible. It kind of wakes the clay up because it's got all these particles in there and we want to make sure that they're kind of weaved together that's what your wedging is basically doing um, in the in the beginning it's really common to um, have maybe air pockets in your clay and so we want to make sure that those are all compressed um, but the important thing is that you don't get frustrated um, it does take practice it takes repetition um, but in regards to like the hand wedging which we're going to do today it's pretty straightforward um, and there's not a lot to it so you guys have quite a bit of clay and we don't want to use this for our all of this for our pinch pot because we're going to be using it throughout this build so what i want you to do is i want to take you i want you to take your popsicle stick and i just want you to cut off like a chunk of your clay and it should be like about the size of your fist so if you have really large hands maybe get a little bit less because you're using this for your pinch pot and it's going to basically prep for your um pinch pot mug and unless you want a really giant mug you don't want to start with a really giant chunk so don't use all of this again you're just cutting off a small section so slightly smaller than your hand okay so then you can set this clay that you are not using back in your bag and that's going to be really important because we don't want this to dry out and anytime clay is sitting out, it's slowly drying. And you're like, yeah, but I'm only gonna be working with it for like 25 minutes. It doesn't matter, it's still gonna get that air to it and it'll kind of uh, cause that moisture to leak. So make sure that it's always covered up when you're not using it. So now you have your clay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're just gonna kind of squish it in between my hands. And notice that I'm kind of rotating the clay as I do this. Make sure you switch directions. And kids always say, well, how long do I have to do this? If it's fresh clay, I would say for maybe about a minute. There's no like, I guess if we were spiral wedging, which we'll get to later, um, maybe like 30, 40 times right out of the bag. Um, if it's reclaimed clay, you'd probably want to do it maybe like 100 times if we're spiraling clay. But since we're just hand wedging, we'll just say about a minute. So we're waking up all those particles or getting rid of those air pockets and just getting that clay to wake up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep this clay into a proper shape so we can actually start our pinch pot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna tap it on our project board. So we're gonna really lightly tap it. And what we're trying to do is turn our kind of crazy looking ball of clay into a cube. We don't want it in a rectangle. And you wanna to try to get it as even as you can on all sides. Like don't worry about the little, don't worry about like these marks, like the little wrinkles and the crevices. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. And I'm just taking this clay and I'm just tapping it. So it's kind of like a cube. Not kind of, it is. So you should have something like that, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the palm of your hand. Palm of your hand, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're going to tap the corners of your cube to get it back into a sphere or a ball of clay. And you're like, well, why didn't we just do that when we were wedging? Well, you could, I guess, but this just helps you continuously compress that clay and make sure you don't have those air pockets. So you're gonna pick it up 
and with it in your non-dominant hand. So I'm right hand dominant. So I'm gonna hold it in my left hand. I'm gonna use the palm and I'm gonna gently kind of tap in those corners. And I'm gonna turn the clay and I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around so that the corners start to go inward. And you continue to repeat this over and over again until the cube becomes a sphere. Okay, so now they have the corners. They, they're kind of gone, you know, they've disappeared. So now we wanna get this really round. So instead of just tapping on the corners, now we're gonna take our palm and we're gonna go in a circular motion. So we're going to circular motion. So I'm going like this around the clay. And I'm going to rotate the clay just slightly. So I'm not, you know, I'm not tapping in circular motion and then flipping it all the way over. I'm just gradually rotating the clay a little at a time as I do this. I'm going in a circle using just the palm. You can see where the circle is on my palm. So you're not using your fingers, just this area. Okay, so it's becoming more of a really nice sphere. Now your final step in prepping this portion of your clay is to take both palms and compress. Slowly rotate. So I'm not squeezing with my fingers, I'm pressing into my palm when I do this. So press into the palm. And you should have a really nice round spherical shape that's compressed with no air pockets. So now your clay is prepped and ready to begin um, your pinch pot process. So at this point, what we want to do, I'm going to try to get this a little bit closer. Do you see the wrinkles that we have in the clay and any little crevices? What we want to do is we want to smooth that out. So I'm going to use the top of my finger, the soft part of my finger, the pillow top is what I like to call it. I'm also going to use the thumb. The thumb works really well as, as well. So I'm going to take my clay and I'm going to kind of pull the clay over itself. So I'm not pressing really hard to, when I do this. And don't worry about these little pieces of crumbs that will happen. We're gonna smooth that stuff out here in a little bit. But right now, I'm just worried about those little cracks, those little veiny areas on the surface of the clay. So I'm gonna pull all that stuff over. Sometimes you have to press a little harder in some areas than you do in others. If you feel like those little veiny cracks aren't going anywhere, what you can do is you can take your water bottle and you can spray it just a little bit. Don't over spray it because then you'll turn your clay into slip, which we'll get into later. So this whole process from wedging your clay to smoothing out the surface shouldn't take you, you know, five, 10, 15 minutes should only take you a couple, you know, once you, you know, it took us a little bit longer because we're going through the process. You didn't know how to do it. But once you do it on your own, you know, this whole thing should maybe only take you one to two minutes. Because if you take 15 minutes to do this, what's going to happen is you're going to develop a hard outer shell on the clay wall. And then when you go to open this clay with your thumb, you're going to crack the outside. So then if you've kind of misshaped your clay, just go back and reshape it with your palms. Okay, now your clay is ready to actually begin the official pinch pot. All right guys, so now that we have our clay prep, now we're gonna actually start our pinch pot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our thumb. Um, if your thumb is hanging way back here like this, um, first of all, you need to relax. You're, you're too stressed out. So you want your thumb to be straight, like so, okay? 
And then you're gonna take your clay and you're gonna hold it in the palm of your hand. You're gonna take your thumb and I'm, gonna, I'm doing this sideways, but you're gonna do it like this. So you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna hold it like this, okay? So I'm not, and you also wanna kind of find like the worst part of your clay, um, which mine's pretty pretty round. It's, about, it's pretty consistent, so it's not gonna really matter. I'm gonna take my thumb and we wanna make the, in, the opening with the tip of our thumb, so not the side, which is a big mistake that kids make. They go in like this, right? So you don't wanna enter your clay this way, you want to enter the clay like this. So the tip of your thumb, right? So the tip of our thumb, I have it in the palm of my hand. I'm gonna push until I feel the pressure right in the palm of my hand. Once I feel in the palm of my hand, I'm gonna stop. If you have fingernails, you might wanna stop a little bit sooner or else you're gonna go right through the bottom of your clay. So notice I didn't take my thumb out though because I've misshaped my clay. I'm gonna back this camera up just a little bit so you can see just a little bit better. So I didn't take my thumb out because it kind of misshaped and now it's kind of crooked on one side. So while it's still on my thumb, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna reshape it. So I'm just gonna rotate the clay and reshape. And there we go. Now we've got a round circular piece of clay again. Sometimes I even kind of recompress it on the sides too, not just the bottom. Okay, so then again, still haven't taken my thumb out because if I pull the clay, if I pull my thumb straight out, then I'm gonna tear the inside of my pinch pot. And I wanna to try to keep it as even and smooth as possible. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna twist. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, then pull your thumb out because when you twist it, it's gonna open that circle up and it's gonna give you enough room to just uh, smoothly pull your thumb out and you won't tear the inside. So now that we've opened up our pinch pot, we wanna check it for any cracks that may have occurred. So if you do have any cracks that happened, you're just gonna take the pillow top of your fingers and you're gonna smooth it out. So now here's gonna be a great time for me to kind of smooth this section out right here. And you wanna smooth as you go, guys. You wanna be proactive about the surface of your clay. Okay. So now we have the, in, the, the opening to our pinch pot. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about where you should pinch and how much pressure you should put on your clay. So I'm gonna grab some extra clay here because I wanna show you something. So what we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna use just the fingertips and the thumb. So we're gonna be pinching with these fingers. Your pointer finger, your middle finger, and your thumb. These are just kind of hanging out. And you're only using the tips, so you're kind of kind of look like a little claw. If you use your whole finger, you're gonna end up with a tractor tire and your pinch pot's not gonna look right. You're gonna be unhappy with it, um, mostly because you're turning this into a mug. So to uh, get you to understand the amount of pressure you should be putting on your clay, I want you to pay attention to this. So a lot of times beginners pinch really hard and they pinch the clay you know, until they feel their fingertips in between it. And that's not what we want. You don't wanna stretch the clay so aggressively so quickly because we want our clay pot to be even all the way from the bottom to the top and all the way around. So to make that happen, you're gonna just very gently pinch your clay. So notice how much pressure I'm putting on that clay. It is so slight that it's almost gonna look like the clay is not even moving but notice that the clay is staying incredibly even all the way across. So you're gonna apply that process with your fingers. Your thumb is always gonna stay on the inside of your pinch pot, and from here on out, you don't wanna put your pinch pot down. So we don't wanna pinch like this because you're gonna mess up the foot of your pinch pot. And you know the body parts of a pinch pot because we talked about it the other day. So we're gonna take our thumb, we're gonna put it all the way at the bottom, we're gonna put our fingers as far down as you can go. And when you pinch, you're gonna do this so slightly. And what you should see is a mark that's in between your fingers. So you see that right there? That's where you're gonna make your next pinch mark. So I'm not going all the way over here. I'm gonna put my next pinch pot or my next pinch mark on top of that. So I'm constantly 
overlapping, gently pinching as I go around the base of my pinch pot clay. So you can see that it's, you can sort of see my pinch marks, but again, I'm always overlapping and I'm only using the fingertips. So I'm not using the actual finger, the bony part of my finger. Okay, once you go all the way around and you're back to where you've started, you're gonna stop because we're gonna fix this up right here because that got a little bit too, mu too mushroomy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop, we're gonna take the palm of our hand and we're gonna go in a circular motion. So now we have more of that round shape. You're gonna lose it, like where your fingerprint marks are, you're gonna lose it just a little bit, but your next fingerprint mark because we went all the way around once. So now we're gonna work our way up the clay wall, but we don't wanna go from here all the way to the middle and then the top. We always wanna overlap. So here's where my fingerprint marks were at the foot, at the base. So when I go up the clay wall, I don't wanna go all the way up here, you know, whole fingertips with, I wanna overlap it. So I'm just gonna go up halfway. And then I'm gonna repeat the process around my clay wall. So notice how slowly I'm rotating the clay. So I'm not doing this. If you do that, your clay is gonna end up uneven and you're trying to get a really even clay wall. So at this point, you can stop this video, go slow, make sure you're rotating, make sure you're pinching gently, gently, gently pinching. I'm not pressing really hard. And once I get back to where I've started, I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna check to see if I have any cracks that have developed. And if I do have some cracks that have developed, I'm gonna take my water bottle, I'm gonna spray it, and I'm gonna smooth it in. And it's not gonna hurt it to spray your clay anyway, because your clay can start to dry out depending on your body temperature. I'm really cold all the time, so my clay doesn't need a lot of water. But if you're somebody that's hot a lot, then it's going to transfer into your clay body and it's going to dry your clay out faster. So now I'm going to keep repeating the process around the clay wall and up the clay body until I get all the way to the top. Again, slowly, gentle pinches. I'm going to speed this up but I want you to stop the video and do this slowly. Do not get in a hurry, guys. Make sure you're overlapping. If you don't overlap, your clay is gonna be really, really lumpy and your mug isn't gonna turn out the way that you want it. So notice I'm going back in and I'm smoothing out the clay surface. I'm getting rid of my fingerprint marks. I'm smoothing out any cracks that may have happened because I wanna keep my clay wall really compressed. Again, if you feel like the clay is not moving, just spray it with some water. And you can go horizontal and vertical. And in fact, I would. It'll help you get rid of the lumps. You really shouldn't have that many if you're pinching with the right amount of pressure. These should go away fairly easy. If they're not going away fairly easy, then you know you're pinching too hard. Okay, so you have rotated your clay from bottom to top, pinching gently, and you smooth all your clay out. At this point, you're gonna stop for today because we want your clay to start to set up just a little bit. You're not done with this because this is too thick, but we're going to let it sit overnight and then we're gonna come back to it um, in a little while. So what you're gonna do is, remember you don't wanna put your pinch pot down this way because we're not ready to flatten this section out. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to spray it on the inside once, and you're gonna set it on the rim, and you're gonna spray it once. Then, you're going to get a trash bag. I assume everybody has a trash bag in their house. You're gonna take a trash bag, you're gonna open it up, 
and you're going to set your board inside the bag. Make sure it doesn't have any holes in it. You don't want air getting to this. You don't want a big giant air bubble. Just kind of squish it around there real gently. Twist this up tight and set it underneath your board. Make sure you put this somewhere safe where your siblings and your pets can't get to it. Your other play that is in your bag, you're going to give it a squirt of water. So maybe two, one, two. And then we're gonna seal this up tight, get that air out of there, seal this up. Sometimes these get stuck. It's not a huge deal because you're gonna double bag it. You can even twist this up, put it inside your other bag, make sure it's sealed up tight, twist it close, and put this on your board, put it all together and put it somewhere safe until our next class period. Make sure your project is somewhere safe, you guys. Super, super important. I'll see you next session.